Okay, I'm going to try and share as naturally as I possibly can. Please, please excuse me when I have to look away from the camera because I'm not used to feel, filming myself and so I'm not being as natural as I ought to be. Please excuse me if I'm a bit too serious. I don't mean to be serious. But today, I feel we have an important subject to t talk about. Why should you listen to me? You may be thousands of millions of people all over the world. Why on earth should you listen to me, Eddie Nachman? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my testimony. You probably know, Christians, especially born-again spirit-filled ones, have testimonies. I have a testimony as to how I came to know the Lord Jesus Christ as my Saviour. And I have a testimony as to how I was called to the ministry of an evangelism. How I was called to find and, and do that which I, as me, Eddie Nackman, have been created by Yahuwah, the God of Abraham, to do. Let us begin with a short prayer. Heavenly Father, I just pray that you will grant your grace and your favor to all the listeners now. So that, Father, as I speak, your Holy Spirit will touch those out there who are listening. And that their lives may be transformed by the glory of your grace. I thank you for your grace, Heavenly Father. I pray that you'll be with me now. That you'll anoint my words as I speak. Your grace will operate. I have another restriction. Let me just finish. In the name of our Lord Yeshua the Mashiach. Amen. I have another restriction. I can only speak for up to 10 minutes at a time. Otherwise YouTube won't accept the message. So, it's now 22.21, which means I've been doing about two minutes. Which means it gives me eight minutes to share with you a short testimony. So that you can know, one, God exists. And two, one way which God calls people to work for him in our generation. Amen? Okay, so we begin. I was born again when I was about nine years old. Nine or ten years old. I went to a Baptist, I think, boys brigade camp in Barnstable in Devon. And there the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ as Savior was presented to me. And that time I realized that I was a sinner and I needed a savior. I was a sinner. I guarantee it. I, I was a sinner. I used to shoplift and steal and things like this. And I needed a savior. And at that time I remember coming home from that camp and saying, Mommy, Mommy, I accepted Jesus as my savior. And it was indeed as my savior that I received Jesus at nine years old. Every one of us, I believe, in this whole planet needs to accept Jesus as their savior. Saviour from what? Saviour from sin. Saviour from death. Saviour from sickness at times. But the point is that we need to give our lives over to He who gave His life for us in order that we can have a relationship with God the Father through God the Son. And when we have done this, we receive by the grace of God, God the Holy Spirit living in us. So at nine years old, I gave my life to Jesus. At 14 years old, or something like this, uh, after 9 years old, around 12 or so, I was baptized in water as a step of obedience. At that time, I was given a book uh, by Richard Brand, Wormbrand. It was called Tortured for Christ. I didn't realize it at the time, or maybe I did, but I certainly don't remember it now. But I realized later that Richard Wormbrand was a Jew, a very strong Jew, who had a very strong faith in Jesus Christ. He found Jesus Christ as a Jew. Even in the midst of a country and a culture which had some beliefs which were anti-Semitic and anti-Jewish. Yet, despite this anti-Semitic attitude in the nation where he was, he found Jesus, hallelujah, as his saviour. And so, Richard Weinbrand's book was given to me. Later on, when I was about 14 years old, I went to a Christian camp in England in a place called Downs, Downs Bible Week. And uh, before that, one year before, it was Dale's Bible Week. In the first one, I prayed that God would fill me with this Holy Spirit. I had someone pray for me. Actually, to be honest, it wasn't so good because me and my mate, Matthew, we were creasing up laughing while the guy was praying for us. We, we were kind of serious, but we were not serious. We were having a laugh. But we did want to be filled with the Holy Spirit. We had the wrong attitude, but we wanted it. 
even though I had the wrong attitude when the guy was praying for me I did sincerely want to be filled with God's Holy Spirit so that I could live a life more glorifying to God and therefore I trusted God over the entire next year that even though I did not receive the gift of tongues a gift which God gives us so that we can pray to him by our spirit in other languages of the spirit I trusted and believed that I had received the Holy Spirit I believe it was so one year later I went to a Downs Bible Week it was the first year of the Downs Bible Week and in that Bible Week I was really hungry not just to have the gift of the Holy Spirit which I believed I already had by faith but to receive the gift of tongues that sign for the unbeliever wherein we begin to speak in other languages given to us by the Holy Spirit now this gift of tongues I used to see in operation in the church I grew up in over there in London but the problem was I looked around at these people in the church and I thought they were crazy I, I looked around at them I thought these people are crazy and yet at the same time while I was thinking these people are crazy I was believing and hoping that I would receive this gift because at times the whole congregation would begin to sing in these languages these supernatural angelic languages and the sound would be so beautiful and the air would be filled with what you might say was the glory of Yahweh in those days I called him the Lord like you I did not know God's name I was just brought up in a general Baptist then charismatic church and I just called him the Lord the Lord Jesus yes but the Lord was enough and this was what was happening to me when I was uh, in my teenage years I had a hunger for this gift of tongues well in Dow's Bible week I think it was 1979 I was wanting to be prayed for to receive the gift of tongues but I was too shy to go up in the morning when they were inviting people to come to be prayed for I was too shy I didn't I had an image to protect even though I had a hunger a spiritual hunger to go deeper with God I also had an image to protect which was kind of competing with that spiritual hunger so it, to, as a result I did not go up in the morning and I just had to continue continue with the hunger but then in the evening service whilst I was worshipping oh hallelujah praise you Jesus thank you Jesus yes my tongue started wagging in ways it had never wagged before I was suddenly worshipping fluently in another language I was blessed and because I received the gift of tongues in this manner and this was a good 30 years ago approximately no one could ever make me doubt that the gift I received was genuine that gift came and it stayed praise be to Yahweh.